In this activity, we're learning about the spline and sweep tools. All right, so far from our last activity, we created a practice file folder. Okay, make sure you go into your practice folder and we're gonna create our document within this folder. All right, this one's going to be called spline and sweep and your name. All right, again, make sure your name is in there. We're gonna hit okay to create our document and we come into our workspace here. Our first step, we are going to start with a sketch on our front plane. That front plane, we are going to choose on our view cube over here in the front so that we have a parallel view of what we are doing, which makes life a little bit easier. And this time we are using our spline tool. Okay, the spline tool is next to our polygon tool. Looks like a little curve. Okay, what the spline tool does, if you haven't used it before, okay, if we just try some out, if you see when you put these points, all right, it curls our line around the points that you make. Okay, we're going to cancel that. Okay, the line or the spline we actually want to create, okay, we won't really have very many measurements here, but we want to choose certain areas. So our first point will be down in the bottom left hand quadrant. Okay, our second point we want to have along this plane line. Okay, if you notice it has a dotted line showing that it is horizontal and from our origin. So somewhere along here. Okay, our third point will be up in this area. Our fourth point goes to the origin. Okay, our fifth somewhere down in the bottom right quadrant. And this is important, okay? Our last one is going to be along this plane. Okay, it needs to be across from our origin here. When we choose that, right, this is the end. I'm gonna hit the escape key on my keyboard and it will keep this shape. Okay, this is it for this sketch. This first sketch, we're gonna choose our green checkbox to confirm, go back to our corner view. And we actually need one more sketch for this tool, for this sweep. So a sweep basically takes a shape and it curls that shape around a line. All right. In this case, that's going to be our spline. So we're going to make one more sketch and that needs to be where that end point was. That's why I was saying it was very important that it was along that line across from our origin because that was our top plane. So we can choose our top plane. We again want to make sure we look at that plane parallel. So we're going to choose top on our view cube to make it a little easier for us. Okay, and our end point, okay, if you see there's different points along here, we know that our end point, okay, is the very last one on the side here. So on that end point, we're going to make a circle. So we choose our circle tool, we choose our end point, and we stretch it out just a little bit. Okay, remember if it shows this nice little box, that means you can just start typing. If you try and click in it, it will not let you do it. We're going to type 0 0.5. Okay, and hit enter. When we choose our green checkbox, it'll confirm our little circle there. We'll go back to our corner view and we just see this nice curving line and we have our circle that's attached to that end of our curved line. So what we're going to do next is we're actually going to try that spline tool. Sorry, the sweep tool. <laughs> so our sweep tool is right next to our revolve. Okay, it says sweep right there. It kind of looks like the shape we're making right now. We choose a sweep. All right, this is adding a new object, a new feature here. So what it says, we need to choose the face or the sketch region to sweep. So that is our shape, that's our circle, okay? And then, if you notice, it turns red, our sweep path here. Okay, that means we need to choose a sweep path. So we need to actually click on that red bar so it knows what we're trying to select. And then the path is gonna be that nice curved line that we just made. We click on that. 
then as long as your curves aren't too tight, okay, we should wind up with our nice sweep here. We choose our green check, and then we can rotate around to make sure that it worked out. This is where we will take a moment to go edit one of our sketches. So for our sketch here, we're gonna take a look back at that spline. If we double click our sketch one, remember since these are blue, they're not fully constrained, we can still move these around. So maybe I wanted to have this be slightly less pointed, a little curved, more curved, softly. We can move a couple of these around accept and that will again automatically update our changes and that is our finished object